Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another edition of Miss Universe 2019 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. And today, I am going to talk about Miss Universe Portugal 2019. And since Portugal belongs to the European region, here is my current ranking for that group. And this ranking is already updated based on my most recent leaderboard for the Miss Universe 2019 pageant. So if you have not seen that leaderboard, you better check it out. So at the end of this video, you will also see an updated ranking if ever Portugal makes it in my top 10. So let's begin. Portugal started competing in 1960 and their highest and latest placement was achieved in 2011 by Laura Goncalves who finished in the top 10. This year, they just crowned Silvia da Costa Silva. She is 20 years old and I haven't followed Miss Portuguesa 2019, so I have no idea how she is when it comes to performance, and I tried to look for a compiled video of her performances on the national pageant as well, but I just can't seem to find one. I would be talking about her performances very, very soon once I find some clips of it. When it comes to beauty, I think she's a very beautiful woman. She is still young at 20, but to be honest, with how IMG has shifted and changed the pageant, I am not really keen on the beauty that much. I mean, it still matters, but I am more impressed with a candidate who is very solid and has a, a substance. I am talking about candidates who have very, very strong profiles, have active participation in advocacies, great stage presence and performances, and beauty, of course, and of course, the most important of all, strong in interviews. For Miss Portugal, in general, they don't usually do well in pageants like Miss Universe, and their only placement was in 2011, and Brazil hosted that time, and I even think that placement was influenced politically. That's just what I thought about that year. For Sylvie, I just don't see her as a threat or as a game changer in the competition. She is pretty, but I want to see more. Something that will really elevate her on top of the list against other European contenders. All I can see right now is a pretty face, but I am not yet convinced at how strong she could be. I would love to see her give us some updates about her advocacy, if there's any. I would also love to see how she does in her preparation, in her preparation to the pageant, her transformation, and everything else that she does. Because that would also help us give some helpful feedbacks, if ever they need one. Plus, based on the photos that I have seen of her, I still think she needs to work on the styling very, very much. If Portugal wants to do well, in Miss Universe, I think they need to do some collaboration with the Brazilian team because they're good in Miss Universe. That's just my suggestion because Portugal and Brazil are politically allies. So I would love to see them work together as well if they really wanted Portugal to do well in the competition. So again, that's just my suggestion. Anyway, having said that, here is my updated ranking for the European region. And unfortunately, Portugal is at my number 11, so she did not make any changes to the top 10. My number 10 is still Belgium, followed by Poland at number 9, Armenia at number 8, Russia at number 7, Denmark at number 6, Croatia at number 5, Malta at number 4, 3 Netherlands, 2 Great Britain, and my number 1 still for the European region is Albania, Cindy Marina. So what do you think? If you wanted to see my reviews of the other contestants, of these contestants, and of course the contestants from other regions, you can just go ahead and check out my channel. So what do you think about Miss Portugal? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.